Howdy everyone, Poltra here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are going to be versing the Dark Beasts that is a Wukong leader beastman setup with an Azariel on the team instead of Pig Boy. It's quite strong, it does well, it beats Blue blue Beasts quite a lot as well. It's very good, it's showing up in Arena but I'll show you how to beat it. I've tested this team 20 times, I've 3 starred it every time. However, as usual, I'm not giving it the 100% win rate because RNG, we all know it. We've all been a victim of it. Something could go wrong. I don't want you to blame me for it. So 20 battles. I've won every single one. Full HP. We'll go into the battle and I'll show you what you need to do. So going into battle, we've got Rock, Suna, Phoenix, Wukong as the leader, Azariel versus Gloriana, our leader, Colonel, Maeglin, Tiliana, and... Sindario or Sandy. Unfortunately, the camera is being really weird and I can't zoom it out when I do it just zoom straight back in So I apologize for that, but it's not gonna make that much of a difference We are gonna start off by using our shining harmony on Sindario get our speed boost Beautiful and we are going to get attacked. They're going to attack Maeglin first It won't be too much of an issue. Our first target is the enemy rock. Now. I'm just gonna attack here There's no reason for me to hide anyone at the moment. I'm gonna save that and they will heal now, they do have the option of getting Maeglin down to very low HP at the beginning of the battle. If that is the case, I will show you what you need to do. So as you can see, we are going to save our AoE here. We do not need to use it just yet. I will wait till we lose a little bit more health. So we are going to auto attack, but it's up to you. This is one of those times where... Actually, I'll just show you. If you get to this point in the battle and you feel like you are in pretty bad shape already, you are going to use the AoE and it's going to heal everyone back up. It's going to get a lot of critical strikes out and do a lot of healing. The next part of the battle that you are going to come to is going to be Gloriana. Now you have two options here. If Sandy isn't enough to heal your characters back up and you feel like you are in a bit of danger, go ahead and use your living life-giving spring. If not, use your forest echoes. Completely up to you depends on the situation. At the moment, I think we're pretty good. I am going to go ahead and use my life-giving spring, however, just to get the resurrection on my characters, just as a safeguard and heal everyone back up. We're going to hide Maeglin, and we're going to just keep attacking sooner. Unfortunately, she has the taunt up. That's fine. But the moment that taunt finishes, we are going to go ahead and attack the rock and take him out. Taking out rock on the enemy team is a huge positive for you. It takes away a lot of the AoE from the enemy and takes away the freeze as well, which can be quite annoying. At this point of the battle, I am going to boost it up to four times speed, just so we don't run out of time. We're going to use our forest echoes and continue to attack the enemy rock. Now he will resurrect. There is a chance he will also heal a lot of times, but that's fine. Now I have been able to win this battle several times on uh, manual. You can uh, on auto, sorry. Auto though, there is the chance the AI just is stupid and causes you a lot more issues. So do play the battle on manual if you can. If you're not lazy, we take out or oh, we don't take out the rock. He survives, but that's fine. We're just going to keep attacking until he dies. That is our only goal. Doesn't matter who else gets low HP. We just continue to attack the enemy rock. Okay, we move back onto him. He may heal back up through another character. That's fine if he does. He is going to get a little bit of a resurrect. He's got the resurrect on him, but we should be able to take him out. Now, I'm going to use my AoE. It doesn't hurt him. Okay. We trigger it. He dies. Now, the next target is going to be the enemy Azariel. We do want to take her out. Because I am explaining this battle as well, we are... We are running short on time, but it should be fine. Can we take her out? I'm just going to auto attack there and finish her off. Beautiful. Our next target, completely up to you. You can go Wukong or Suna. Personally, I go Wukong just because he doesn't have the ability to hide, so you are able to take him out. So I am going to press auto at this time of the battle. There is no way we can lose. We are going to select our target as Wukong. Otherwise, they will take out Phoenix. So they should take him out. However, we do have the Sooner who will taunt at some point. There isn't really anything the enemy can do. We do a lot of damage. She taunts now. She has a lot of dodge up. But the dodge is interesting. It makes me wonder if we can run a... 
a dwarf squad potentially. Okay, we take out Wu. Uh, you see, this is the issue with Phoenix. We go back on Wu Kong. Just keep targeting the person she resurrects. You will not have an issue with the timer in this battle, I promise you. We have 19 seconds left, but mind you, I was running this on two times speed to begin with and explaining a lot of the steps. As you can see, three stars, full HP, pretty safe battle once you take out the rock. It is norm normally a safe battle either way. Like I said, the only time I've ever really had issues is when I was running the battle on auto and wasn't really paying attention to what was happening. I am going to run some more scenarios at the end of the video if you want to stick around and watch. I'm not going to be talking in those. There'll just be music playing over. But if you want to see some more battles playing out, feel free to do so. If not, thank you for watching. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.